all right um I got about eight something this morning and um I was led to a certain video on YouTube and it whatever the video was I'm not going to speak on it but whatever it was um I thought about this experience that I had um two weeks ago okay it was two weeks ago and um I could have done a video on it then but I decided to hold off um because I wanted to see what other experiences I was going to have I was going to relate to it but of course that didn't happen but anyway, many of you know I speak about uh, my spiritual journey, um, sharing my truth, my testimony, because that's all I know, okay? And um, it has been a wonderful journey, let me just say that, with a lot of ups and downs, you know, um, all that comes with it, okay? But um, it's been a lot of beautiful ups, you know, the experiences, you know, out of a lot of the... Um, <sighs> I'm not, I don't want to say downs, but a, a lot of the not so, you know, um, beautiful experiences, shall I say, um, still something good came out of it because, you know, um, it woke me up. It woke me up and it, and it shook me out of my slumber, okay, of um, being in a box, okay. Um, I truly wake into a whole nother reality, shall I say. And um, I realized that Hollywood has really been doing a job on us, especially when it comes to um, a lot of their sci-fi movies, okay? It's, it's interesting how, you know, they can tell you the truth and you see it as sci-fi. You know, it's a lot of people that have a lot of science fiction books, but it's their truth slash they're trying to tell you the truth, okay? But they can't put it out there as though it's something that's, you know, um, nonfiction, shall I say. So anyway, two weeks ago, I had experience. I mean, if you know, I see through my spiritual site. Um, some people call it the third eye. I just call it my spiritual, my spiritual site, okay? But anyway, um... weeks ago I had a vision okay and um the way I see within myself is kind of like I'm looking at, at a screen shall I say uh, that's the only way I can explain it it's other ways I see within myself but that's one of them as though I'm looking at a screen and what I was seeing was I saw what looked like a stargate and Inside of the Stargate, what was so alarming to me about it, it was activated. And with the Stargate, um, it looked like, it kind of reminded me of the movie, you know, it looked like water or some type of energy that sort of reminded you of, of liquid, shall I say. But... What stood out to me was it looked like something was trying to punch its way through it. Okay, it looked at to me like a hand, like like a fist that was trying to punch its way through this stargate. And I didn't get a good vibe from it at all. I didn't get a good vibe from it whatsoever. And I was watching it. The spirit of the living God allowed me to see it. Excuse me. I was looking at this within myself in the spirit realm. I was looking at it, trying to see actually what's going to come out of this. And I wasn't able to see it for a long time, but for the, the time that I was able to see it, it was very alarming. And the first thing I thought about was CERN. That's the first thing that crossed my mind was CERN. And um, I was like, wow. I said, it must be cranking this thing up, you know, and that's pretty much what I was seeing. I was seeing, it looks like this force was trying to punch its way through 
that hole, okay? It was, but it was a force. The hand was trying to punch. This so-called dark hand was trying to punch. Was trying to, I don't want to say punch, but it, it like, like it was trying to punch, but it was trying to force its way through, okay? Um, this portal, okay? This open portal. And there was a force around it that was trying to keep it back. That's the point I'm trying to make. There was a force around this so-called hand that was trying to keep it back. And it looks sort of liquidly, liquid-like. That's the only way I can describe it. That was trying to keep it at bay, okay? And there were times where it, was, it seemed like it was going to bust through, okay? It seemed like it was trying to, you know, bust through this force, okay? That was in the center of the Stargate. You see this fist trying to punch through, but this force was trying to hold on family. All right, I was going to um, pause it, but anyway. Um, but this force was trying to keep it at bay, shall I say. And I was just looking at it, looking at it. And as I stated, what came to me was CERN. I'm like, wow, they must be trying to crank this thing up, and my spirit is alarming me. You know, letting me know, look look what they're doing. Look what they're doing. So anyway, I would say maybe two days afterwards, or it could have been a day afterwards, I um, was on YouTube, and um, somebody was talking about CERN, and it was like, you know, uh, do y'all know that, you know, that... They've been testing CERN and cranking it back up again. And I was like, wow. Wow. It's all I can say. Wow. And, you know, the media's not talking about it. They're not going to talk about it. This this is secret government. Okay? I mean, they know about it, but they're not going to talk about it. And they pertain to the government. Um, yeah, that's a non factor when it comes to the public. But um yeah. They they were actually cranking it up the same week that I had that experience and my spirit my spirit was alarming me about it. Ain't that interesting? And not only was my spirit alarming me about it, I seen it in the spirit. They they've been seeing a lot of things, okay? They've been seeing a lot of things that would really blow our mind that they're seeing through the veil. Because, see, it's one thing to crank it up, but it's another thing when you, you know, they haven't, they're they seeing whatever it is that's it is on the other side that's trying to come through. It's like for them, you know, they're looking at this special, you know, um, television slash screen and this thing was going on on the other side but what's on the other side is trying to come through <sighs> and it's, it's also sad because CERN is um, all about dark matter you know antimatter and do you know when they crank this thing up people who are low vibrational you know, it, it 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 creates the darkness that's within a person who has not embraced the light. It makes it it makes them on the inside more darker. You know, have any of you noticed anybody that you love, you know, or that you know been acting weird within two? I would say within the past two weeks. You know, um, talking negative, their actions are more negative. You know, it's, it's like they're sabotaging themselves. Maybe they're drinking more. You know. They're doing drugs. They're doing things to hurt themselves. Have you noticed anybody acting weird within the past two weeks, shall I say? Yeah, people die every day, but it's like it's like killing has increased more because of darkness within people. It's out of control because they have not embraced the light. We talked about this many months ago. Actually, a couple of years back, because my video's been going for, what, about seven years now? And I've talked to many of you, my brothers and sisters, letting you know, you know, get in your heart space, expand your light, 
that this is what's going to keep you, you know, not only you be able to navigate within yourself, but it will also help you out here to be able to navigate. I've been saying this. And many people, they took it as a joke. They really did. And many people who don't watch me anymore, they remember, and I'm sure many of them took it to heart. And they know, and I'm sure they're exercising it. Family, guard your heart, okay? And definitely keep oil in your lamp. It's no joke out here. Um, I told many of you, you know, a couple of years back, uh, a little after 9-11 when they had that event of the Twin Towers falling. I think it was like, what, a year later I was talking about this. I told you how I had this, you know, um, the spirit had revealed to me. Um, I don't think it was a vision, but the spirit, you know, I commune, I commune with my higher self. And the spirit had let me know that um, the reason um, that they... Uh, as far as the 9-11 happened, okay, um, they was really trying to, you know, um, they needed to come up with a way to take over that area, all right? Because, um, who was it? Um, Saddam Hussein, the area he was in, there was a Stargate there, okay? So it wasn't so much about money and gold. Yeah, he had money and, and there was gold there, but... You have to realize it's, it was more than just that. There was a Stargate there that they found, okay? And there's other things that they found, okay? Other ancient artifacts where they had found this Stargate. And I told many of you about this, okay? And they had to come up with a way, okay? They had to come up with a way to get to that location and take it over. Do you know that a lot of our troops are still there? Why are they still there? Think. Those people don't need our troops to be there. They can police their own country, their own land. They don't need our guards there. Why are they there? What are they guarding? See, that's that's the, that's what needs. That's the question that needs to be answered. What are they guarding? And they can tell us, oh, we're trying to protect them because, you know, uh, they're, you know, um, hurting their own people. No, no. What are they guarding? Why do our military, okay, are still there? And, you know, it's been people that have watched me in the past, and they are in the military. And things I spoke of. Mm -hmm. I, was, I was picking up on it. They knew I knew I, what I was talking about. But it was talking in codes in the comments section. Anyway, um, I always watch what I say. Uh, that's why they don't want, okay, the power to be won't most like our children to wake up because you get to where you come out of this fog of illusion and you start seeing things for what it is and uh, people can't just be telling you anything, okay? But anyway, so if you can imagine a Stargate... And the sad thing about it, when it comes to information, it's never for our benefit. They're always trying to weaponize something for their gain. But it's never for our benefit. You see how demented control, power hungry our government officials, world leaders are. They're not using this technology for the betterment of man. That's learning from the past, like Atlantis, okay? That's learning from the past. Use the technology for good, not for evil, not to weaponize it. Anyway, I just wanted to share this little message. Um, every now and then I go a little deep. Um, I don't really think this was all that deep because I mean, if you know what you know as well, I just want you to know that I know what I know, okay? I just don't put everything out there, all right? Um, but if you notice how things kind of amped up as far as darkness in the world, cause please know, long as they keep messing with that freaking CERN, yeah, 
that, that should be a sign that lets you know every time all of a sudden all hell breaks break loose on this earthly plane. Yeah, they're messing with it. They're, they're, they're cranking it up, okay? It's like they feel like, you know, oh, they, they're in the know. They know something that we don't know, you know, and they feel good about that. Little do they know that they're tampering with low vibrational entities and beings and demons. More power to them. Anyway, family, much love to you all. Um, peace and love to you. Keep that your armor around you. Visualize a white light around you. All is well. And get out in nature. And raise your vibration. Peace.